Hello everybody and welcome back to Helsinki, the home of the self-guided robobus, that train station with the fascinating architecture, and those electric nights that only Helsinki can provide, and only at this time of the year. Today I'm flying with Nora from Helsinki to Manchester. No, not that Nora, this one. Nora. Nordic Regional Airlines, Finnair's regional subsidiary. Today's flight's about 2 hours 50 minutes on a 14 year old Embraer 190 and we'll be cruising at about 39,000 feet. As regular followers of the channel will know, there's nothing I love more than a really good airport lounge. And ladies and gentlemen, you are absolutely spoiled for choice here in Helsinki. As we walk towards our first lounge, we're reminded, sadly, of the last two years. However, things are really starting to pick up now, and that's great news for an avgeek like me. So, toting my three favourite cards in the world, Priority Pass, Samex Platinum, and my One World Emerald status, let's hit up the first lounge. The first lounge today is the Aspire Lounge, accessed with my Priority Pass card. You can also pay by card on the door. This is the only lounge that was available to me pre going through immigration, so it's open to everybody. I have to say, this is one of the nicer Priority Pass lounges in the stable. I'm not drinking alcohol today, don't ask. So I settle instead for tomato juice and this cold lunch. There is no hot food available in this lounge. With decent runway views, this is definitely a lounge that I could spend a few hours in. So how would I rate this lounge on the Moments in the Sky Lounge Index? Of the five most important things that I really appreciate in an airport executive lounge, this is only really let down by the lack of hot food, so it scores 4 out of 5. The next lounge that I want to try today is the Plaza Premium Lounge. This is a relatively new lounge and it's post-immigration, so you won't be able to access this lounge if you're remaining in the Schengen area. I'm a big fan of the Plaza Premium lounges and today's lounge is no exception. First impressions are excellent. One thing to note, ladies and gentlemen, is that in recent months, Plaza Premium and Priority Pass have severed their business relationship, so you won't be able to access this lounge any longer with your Priority Pass card. You can, however, pay on the door, and you can stay up to 10 hours in this lounge for €110. Euro. As far as I could tell, the lounge was divided up into three main areas. The dining area, the sleeping area where there are some relaxation chairs, as well as some daytime chairs where you could do some reading or some work perhaps. Sticking to soft drinks today, I decide to stare out of the window at the aircraft, waiting for lunch. Once you've scanned your phone on the QR code, you can choose two choices, complimentary. I choose the hot and sour soup to start and the five spice chicken for the main course. Unfortunately, the one thing that Plaza Premium Lounges are let down by is the charge for premium brand alcohol. The only alcohol you can get in these lounges complimentary is a glass of red wine and a beer at a push. That's disappointing. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, the food here is excellent. I always appreciate the food in Plaza Premium lounges. You can't ever really go wrong with it in my experience. Once again, very good. So how would I rate this lounge on the Moments in the Sky Lounge Index? Well, it only really lacks complimentary premium alcohol, so this lounge also scores four out of five. And on my way to the next lounge, of course, I observe this rather peaceful area. It's a nice, sedate place to sit and have a coffee, maybe have some lunch, and maybe have a chat, for those people who haven't got lounge access, obviously. And the final lounge for this flight 
is the Finair One Roll Lounge. Now, before you all get excited, thinking you're going to get to see me half naked in the Platinum Wing sauna, well, the Platinum Wing is still shut. However, I did have my own private sauna in the hotel room last night, but you're still not seeing me half naked. You really don't want to see that. First impressions of the lounge are that it's probably more functional rather than luxurious, but with plenty of food on offer, plenty to drink, and certainly plenty of seating, I have to say, the first impressions are pretty good. Whilst I was very disappointed at not being able to get into the Platinum Wing, which is a much nicer experience, I did stumble upon this cocktail bar. Naturally, I had to try it out. Today's drink of choice, the Tom Collins, made right in front of me. And it tasted very nice indeed. However, I've still got that headache, and so at this point all I can do is laugh at my own stupidity. Don't feel sorry for me, ladies and gents. And here's Neil Turner, who is looking just as bad as I'm feeling with both of us suffering quite severe hangovers from the day before. So how would I rate this lounge on the Moments in the Sky Lounge Index? While I really appreciate windows and I really appreciate a runway view, this lounge had neither. It scores 3 out of 5 and I have to say, by far, my favourite lounge today was the Plaza Premium. But now it's time to board our flight to Manchester. I'm very envious about these people to the right of us flying down to the Canaries today. As much as I love Manchester, it doesn't come close to Tenerife. With my One World status, I snagged the extra legroom seat at the time of booking, which is just as well, because this flight is surprisingly full. As always, I'll leave you in peace to enjoy takeoff. With all the regional airlines and regional aircraft that I've flown on over the years, I'm always drawn back to the Embraer 190. I always find it very smooth and very comfortable to fly on, and I was particularly happy when a KLM announced that they were replacing their older Fokker jets with the E-Jets, which I fly on regularly from my local airport, Humberside. So back to today's flight on Nura, and apologies to any Finnish people if I'm mispronouncing the airline name. Originally set up as Flybe Nordic, the airline now operates as a joint venture with Finnair and Danish Air Transport. It flies to an impressive 43 destinations around Europe, using 24 aircraft, roughly split between the ATR-72 and the aircraft that we're on today, the Embraer 190 Long Range. The airline serves routes primarily as a feeder to Finnair's long-haul network from Helsinki, but also offers a really useful connection service on routes that wouldn't sustain the larger Airbus 320 and 321 aircraft. Like 
On today's three hour flight, I spend some time just staring out of the window and I don't mind admitting, sometimes I just like to be bored. With a sandwich paid for in advance at €7.50, the blueberry juice comes free and viewers may be interested to know that this is actually my 11th glass of blueberry juice over the last three days. One can only hope that I don't turn violet like violet or turn orange like that kid apparently did who drank too much Sunny D. After lunch I'm pleased to report absolutely no side effects from 11 glasses of blueberry juice. Everything is just fine. A handy tip if you don't already know is that it doesn't work all the time but if you point your phone out the window sometimes Google Maps will tell you where you are. It won't give you too much detailed information of course because on flights like these there's no Wi-Fi. But if you're wondering it's worth trying on your next flight. We're just starting our descent now into Manchester and what you can see in the distance is the north of England, Northumberland to be specific. I'd also like to say a huge thanks to my Patreon supporters. It's people like James and Joe that give me the opportunity to bring these videos to you month in, month out. And I'd also extend a very warm welcome to Kieran Davis who joins us in Patreon this month. Welcome, Kieran. So as we come towards the end of this flight, I must say, I've really enjoyed spending some time with Finnair over the last few days. It offers a high quality service with a modern fleet of well presented aircraft, and it's an airline that I wouldn't hesitate to recommend, and will be trying long haul at some point in the future. Before I leave you in peace to enjoy the landing into Manchester, if you've made it this far in the video, I must be doing something right. So if you wouldn't mind just clicking like and subscribe, it's free of charge and it makes all the difference. Thanks a million, see you next time.